her 9000's game room. Okay, so the game I'm reviewing here is Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. Or well, for how much of a knockoff it is, I'm surprised that it didn't come straight out of China with the name Burby Sleep World. The character Whipsy looks like someone sat looking at images of Kirby and thought, hmm, if I draw that but make it kind of 10% different, then I'll have done just enough to avoid legal action. What can I do? A quiff. I'll give him a quiff. That's what I'll do. It doesn't start and end with Whipsy though, no. Some of the enemies look straight like carbon copies of various other things from the Kirby universe. Or there's some spiky turtles that look, look pretty Mario to me. There's a dry bones looking mofo. There's an Eevee-esque looking thing. Basically, if you're looking for something original, then don't look at Whipsy. Whipsy is a Kirby knockoff with a few little flakes taken from other places. Little bits of sauce from here and there. So it looks like I'm taking a dump all over Whipsy. Well, no. Luckily for Whipsy, the game plays really well. It is pretty hard and you do have a set amount of lives and when they're gone, they're gone. There's no continues, there's no second chances. When you die, you go back to the start of a level. But if you want an 8-bit style platforming game that actually feels pretty good and challenging, Whips is your boy. Learning the layouts of the levels and learning the boss attack patterns, it's absolutely vital if you actually want to get somewhere in this game. Luckily, they're not that difficult to work out. But some of them will have you stumped for a while. The second boss, yeah, his pattern was a little bit strange to me. But once you get it in, you're 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 good, you're golden. The game controls quite well, but there's some sort of weirdness here and there with hit boxes. The hit detection's not perfect. But I'm gonna say this, the game is only about four to five pounds depending on which platform you go for. And at the moment, I think it's on sale on the Switch. If you like your Kirby-esque 8-bit NES-style platformers, yeah, this game has no originality whatsoever. But it's a darn decent game. Give it a try. Okay, so that's Kerr9000 signing off. Keep on gaming.